right everybody welcome back we are here at the canal so we have some corn we have some bread we have chicken liver and we have punch bait but uh let's get in the water see what we can catch we already threw out chum pods and corn so everybody was throwing a fit on facebook there you go just for you guys we have our usual two ounce weight with a bead protecting the knot this time we have a snap swivel i don't know why we have a snap swivel but a size four treble hook stuff is kind of tricky to get it to stay on the hook all right there it is alpha blood is what we're using first that is the flavor of this bait hopefully the catfish are going to be liking that today all right next rod is going to be for carp we need to get that set up actually in the meantime we'll let that catfish bait soak That stuff works quick. Nice channel. <laughs> well, that is a good sign right there. He slammed it pretty good. That's our first canal catfish of the day. It's actually our first canal catfish in a while too. That took maybe two minutes. There's our first canal cat of the day. Pretty healthy, maybe about uh, 14, 15 inches. That was on the Alpha Blood striker bait. There he is, guys. Hopefully catch another one. Hopefully catch a bigger one. Woo, he's out of there. Before I get my other rod back in, I'm gonna get this carp rod set up. That's what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted. I was going to rig it on the hair rig, but I'm too lazy right now. All right. Get this out here. Oh my God. Oh, oh, this is a big fish. I don't even have my striker in the water. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my God. I saw the wake out there. I really hope he's as big as I think. Oh my God. I'm really going to be taking my time with this one. My goodness. We have 20 pound braid. Advantages, we're in a canal. Not a lot of snags, really. This is insane, guys. He feels really heavy. We have a heavier rod this time, though. We don't have our ultralight. That's always good. He's up over there on the other side. About to see him for a second, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Just gotta take your time, guys. Well, I don't wanna cheat and go up there and net him. <laughs> Cause we could just follow him down the canal, but we gotta do it the right way. hope he doesn't go up in there because then we could potentially lose him oh my gosh i think that's the same carp i caught before oh this i'm pretty sure is the same fish i'm pretty sure Definitely not hooked very well. Just saw the hook. We got him. We got him. Oh my goodness. This 
was on corn, our first cast in there, guys. There he is. Heck of a fight. That probably took us, I don't know, almost 15 minutes for this guy right here. But wow, what a nice fish. Incredible fight. Let's get him back and let's catch another one. Look at that fish, man. Boom, straight back into the canal. I'm juiced. I am juiced. I really think that might have been the same fish, but I'm sure they all look similar. This was a big weight here, guys. Jeez. It just came peeling towards me. Decent fish. Let's get the net. This is catfish number two, if we can land him. There we go. Huh? Catfish. Yeah, oh yeah. Here is our second of the day. A little bit smaller. Still a powerful fish, especially in these canals, man. On the Alpha Blood Striker Punch Bait. And he's out of there. He's gonna be just fine. That one did take a little bit longer to bite though, so I think we're gonna put some garlic liver on here. I know a lot of people have been asking me how I keep chicken liver on the hook, so I'm gonna show you. So the way I keep it on the hook a few times, just kind of pile it on the hook. until it's generally on there. Then what you need to do is you need to get yourself some elastic thread. So there's all kinds of brands for it, but I like this one. It's the generic one on Amazon. I'll actually link it down below if you guys want to check it out. And then you're just going to kind of loosely wrap it at first till you get those ends on there. And then you want to go a little tighter a few more times till it's kind of digging in. And then once you've wrapped it enough, you do not need to tie it. You just pop it off and it will stay just like that. And then you'll be able to cast it. You can be able to whip it as hard as you want. You just got to wrap it on correctly. Of course, I'm packing up and this happens. Oh. This one definitely is not as big as the last one, but. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Big camera on. Every time I'm packing up, man. That's why you leave your rods in the water. Oh, man. You can't beat the canals, man. Keep them coming so I can get them in front of me. Haven't seen him yet. Assuming it's another common. Yep, another common. Yeah, my dad. That's where I need to get. Can we land him? It's kind of difficult doing this on the side of the canal. Boom, right into the net. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, beautiful hook set in the corner of the mouth. There he is, carp number two of the day. Let's get him back in the water, move spots, and hopefully find some more fish. Always fun catching these guys. Awesome, like you did. Boom. Whew. Now we can move. <laughs> gotta get out and explore, guys. You just never know. So many spots on the canal to fish. You gotta find the good ones. Here we go. Let's do it. This is what's caught us two catfish so far today. Right over there. Now this one getting in the water here. Got 
got him. He got a fish. Oh, he popped off. That felt like a catfish. Well, you can't win them all, that's for sure. a little baby guy but hey at least we ended on a fish this is going to conclude the video thank you guys so much for watching we're going to get this guy back in the water and uh we'll see you in the next one